When a small extremist hate group decides to hold their national rally in Kansas City, one can expect a large turnout of anti-protesters. Ensuring a nonviolent demonstration and protecting the group's First Amendment rights required extensive planning on the part of the Kansas City, Missouri Police. Special Operations Commander Major Jim Connolly explains. It was an expensive uh, endeavor for the police department. However, if you look at the um, the things that could have happened, the expense incurred by injuries to either citizens or officers or if uh, lawsuits were filed by not being able to control both sides of uh, the crowd, we could have incurred a great deal more expense. The planning that occurred for this event went on actually for months and then in uh, the weeks preceding the event, um, we actually met with uh, the National Socialist Movement people to find out exactly what their intentions were. We had uh, 60 tactical officers that were in, in and around the crowd, controlling the crowd. I had five mounted patrol officers, K-9, and uh, a bomb technician, in addition to several traffic officers. The major portion of our plan was to uh, keep it fluid. We had a basic framework in place, however, uh, while the event was occurring, we were continually monitoring our plan and making adjustments uh, in order to keep everyone safe and uh, make sure that this event went off as planned and no one received any injuries. I would say that with the information that was being put out, the hate speak that was put out by the National Socialist Movement, and there were also individuals in the anti-rally crowd which were there for the sole purpose to incite others uh, into violence and acts of disobedience. Um, our citizens generally though, they behaved very well and I think both sides were uh, given a safe environment in which to express their First Amendment rights. The teamwork that occurred within the police department uh, and the planning that went into this was not just one individual or two individuals. It was ideas obtained from a large group of individuals which made this plan a success. Also, I would like to thank the people at City Hall because we got uh, both equipment and uh, resources from them in a quick and expedient uh, manner. Also, our citizens of Kansas City demonstrated they can exercise their First Amendment rights in a peaceful manner. If the police department hadn't taken the steps that we did to ensure a safe environment for these protesters and the National Socialist Movement um, that I believe with the amount of violence and uh, hostile speak that occurred during the event that the situation could have been much worse. The cooperation between KCPD, the fire department, the city and Jackson County paid off. So much so, after the rally, they received this tweet from an active anti-government source. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week.